Hello everyone, and today we're going to do a review of the pulses for um, oriental medicine diagnosis. And we'll go ahead, we'll just get right into it. So first, in, um, in CAM, or Chinese acupuncture mo moxibustion, this pulse is easily felt with a gentle touch, like a piece of wood floating on water. Its indications are an exterior syndrome or yin deficiency. Uh, the options are A, thready or fine, B, superficial or floating, C, surging or overflowing, or D, deficient and empty. And the answer is B, superficial floating. And next, this pulse is only felt with heavy pressure like a stone in water. It indicates an interior syndrome. A, soft or weak floating, B, weak, C, deep, or D, deficient and empty. And the answer is C, deep, as in have to go deep to feel it. What pulse is forceful and fell in the three regions with all three levels of pressure? This indicates excess interior heat. So A, excess and full. B, surging and overflowing. C, tense and tight. Or D, knotted. And the answer is A, excess or full. What pulse is characterized as being twisted and forceful like a tightly stretched rope and can even vibrate side to side? This pulse indicates a cold syndrome, pain syndrome, or food retention. A, hesitant and choppy. B, string taut and wiry. C, tense and tight. Or D, knotted. And the answer is C, tense and tight. So how to remember this? Think about how when something is cold, the reaction is become tense or tighten up. And next, which pulse is characterized as being forceless, being felt in the three regions and three levels, but the pulse feels big, soft, and empty with strong pressure? This pulse indicates a deficiency syndrome. Is it A, superficial or floating? B, deep, C, slow, D, deficient and empty. And the answer is D, deficient and empty. A rapid pulse is described as being more than five beats per breath or over 90 beats per minute. What does it indicate in TCM? A, food stagnation, B, heat syndrome, C, pain syndrome, or D, fear or fright disorders? And the answer is B, heat syndrome. This pulse indicates yin and blood deficiency. The qi is also deficient, or internal dampness with severe qi deficiency. A, thready and fine, or, or in other words, thin. B, hesitant or choppy. C, knotted, or D, abrupt or hasty. And the answer is A, thready or fine. And just a note on how to remember, think of fluids becoming thin and thready from deficiency. Which pulse indicates phlegm, dampness, phlegm and retain fluids, food stagnation, excess heat, or a normal pulse during pregnancy? A, thready or fine. B, rolling or slippery. C, hesitant or choppy. Or D, string taut or wiry. And the answer is B, rolling or slippery. So this pulse is described as smooth and flowing like pearls rolling on a dish. And how to remember, think of something becoming slippery, slippery or rolling from fluids. And next, which pulse indicates disorders of the liver and gallbladder, pain syndrome or food retention? Is it A, hesitant or choppy? 
B. Rolling or slippery. C. String taut or wiry. Or D. Knotted. And the answer is C. String taut or wiry. And which pulse indicates blood and essence deficiency? G. And blood stagnation. Fluid exhaustion after sweating or vomiting. A. Slow pulse. B. Thready or fine. C. Hesitant or choppy. Or D. Soft or weak floating. And the answer is C. Hesitant or choppy. So the thready and fine, that was yin and blood uh, deficiency. Or internal dampness was severe cheese deficiency. And A, the soft weak floating, that was for water dampness with internal deficiency or deficiency of yin and essence. So again, um, this, uh, this was hesitant and choppy for blood and essence deficiency, qi and blood stagnation, fluid, fluid exhaustion after sweating or vomiting. And that's it for today. I hope, um, hope this helped, and I will see you next time.